I'm gonna tell you which one it'll be if I can only keep one luxury item. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the first category is jewelry and I actually have some jewelry that I really love and really enjoy like this rose gold CDC bracelet from Hermes and I have another video to share my entire Hermes jewelry collection and I'll link it down below you can check it out after this video. Among all the jewelry pieces that I have if I can only pick one it has to be my diamond ring. It's in the most beautiful round shape in my opinion. The round shape reflect most of the light and are very shiny. They also waste the most material when it comes to cutting. That's why it holds the most value compared to other shape of the diamonds. I still remember I bought this diamond ring together with my husband. We used the scope to check in the hearts and arrows of the diamond. I remember seeing how perfect and symmetrical of all the hearts and arrows are under the scope compared to so many other diamond rings that I've seen. We use another device to check the light leakage on this diamond and this one has like the minimal leakage that's why it reflects the most beautiful light besides the 4c that you guys already know most importantly is because this diamond is associated with my husband and i truly believe it's a token and a symbol of love i know he always wanted to give me the best every time when i look at it it always reminds me how happy he makes me even when we fight look at this ring i'm like like yeah he really loves me <laughs> what's your favorite jewelry piece in your collection the next category is the slg if you watch my other videos you know how i feel about slg they're really nice to have but i wouldn't have too many of them because 10 slg can buy you a really nice designer bag and also who cares that you have 10 slgs at home as you can only bring one or two out at a time since i don't have a big slg collection it's a really easy pick for me if i can only keep one one, it will be my Hermes Calvi car holder in gold color and absent leather. It's just a really simple and practical car holder. This car holder is really affordable and the quality is really awesome too. Compared to my lambskin Chanel car holder, this one is definitely more tougher and more carefree. And it can also hold a lot of cards. For the inside and outside, there are also many other color combos available as well. I'm so glad that I pick it up during my trip to Paris with my husband and I still think it's a great purchase after years. So the next category is shoes. If you watched my entire designer shoe collection video, you probably know that at this stage of my life, I prefer more wearable, comfy, and nice designer shoes instead of sky high heels. It's a really easy pick for me as well, and I'll pick these are mass meals. It looks really good and so chic and it's so comfy to walk in. This color goes with a lot of different outfits and I totally see myself wearing it for a very long time. It's in the calfskin with the Cali buckle, the cotton canvas lining. The lining is also available in many different colors as well. So the next category is travel. When it comes to travel, I wanted something that I don't need to baby and I don't feel bad if it gets dirty. Also, it needs to have room for me to carry all the stuff that I need as well. If I can only pick one, it will be my Chanel brand shopping tote in caviar leather and a black color. This bag is just so carefree. I have this bag for many years and I also traveled with this bag many times in the past. And it's definitely a great travel bag if I can only pick one. I can also wear the bag this way if I don't want to show the CC logo. And I really hope that we can all start traveling soon. The last category is the handbag. And honestly, this is the most difficult category for me to pick. If you watch my five designer bags at a start over video, I shared five of my favorite bags I will buy with no regret if I restart my entire collection again. I try to pick one from those five and it's really, really difficult for me to just pick one. I'll link the video down below. You can check it out after this video. I feel that I love my Chanel classic flaps, rectangle minis, square mini. I love my Birkins and Kelly's. It's just too difficult for me to pick. In the end, I decide to go with my Kelly 25 if I can only pick one. Honestly, 
gold on gold Epsom leather Salier style is the most dreamy combo that I can ever ask for. The bag is just so special itself already and a size 25 is a really good size and it can hold all the essentials that I need. It's not too big and it's not too small like Mini Kelly. On the sentimental value, this bag is from 2020 with a Y stamp, which is also the year my son was born. So it's always associated with my son. That's why it's extra special to me. So recently my essay also told me that compare other people's spending, my spending might not be the highest, but she fought really hard for me for this bag in the San Francisco boutique. And it was not an easy bag to get in San Francisco. So if you wanna know how much I spent to get this bag, I have a dedicated video to talk about how much I spent to get this bag and I'll link the video down below so you can check it out after this video. I just love the bag so much and I wore it so much too. And I can totally see this being a forever bag to me. I'm really curious which bag you would pick if you can only keep one. Leave a comment down below to let me know. Don't forget to like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!